guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma and today I thought I would make a little video showing you my room because uh, I moved here a while ago now, I've been decorating, I've got all the furniture built and mostly it's all put together kind of exactly how I want it and I know a couple of people wanted to see so yeah, here is my room tour. So this is my room, I felt it pertinent to start at the door and uh, work our way in. So um, I just have like a big chest of drawers here. This is full of makeup and shit. Um, I just built like matching furniture. It's all from Ikea, but it's all the same white color. So everything matches. So I thought that was nice. I got uh, my Ghostbusters poster, which I framed a little while ago. You can see me hammering that into the wall if you want to. Um, I just, I keep my guitar just down here on the floor because I don't know where else to put it. And there's an empty space here. There used to be a, a cupboard there. And then I replaced it with this, but of course the problem was I didn't measure this properly. So I need this space to be able to get out of the room. So, so that's where the guitar lives instead. I got my little Bill Shatner uh, uh, print there, fine art print of old, old uh, Captain Kirk, which is pretty. And I finally put that in a frame. Um, I've got over here. Um, hello! <laughs> this is a big built-in wardrobe that obviously came in the house, which is just amazing. I absolutely love it because I've finally been able to, uh, I've finally been able to like organize my clothes and things into separate things. So I've got like, I've got all my shoes together, I've got like a shirt section and a jacket section so I don't lose anything and I know where everything is and it's beautiful. The middle part is my favourite. It probably looks a little bit messy just because there's so much stuff in it. Um, the bottom is like skirts and dresses, but the top is my cosplay wardrobe, which is just, oh, yes. You can see a little bit of Spider-Man poking out. Robin's cape, there's Marty's jacket. And then the bottom, it looks messy, but it's all props. <laughs> so yeah, um, apart from that, uh, Halloween pumpkin which is just not supposed to be there. This one is, uh, it's kind of organized. Um, the top is like, I've got some D&D stuff and some magic stuff and then signed t-shirts and wristbands and things. The second one is stationery. It's just full because I have so much stationery. This one has uh, comics. This is meant to be a comics one, but it's also got my graduation photos. Look, look, there's me graduating, yay. Um, and other combits and, and some random stuff. Uh, I got some games in here and our photos from Harry Potter. That one needs organizing. This is the shelf that I've put all my stuff that I have not yet organized. Um, I got CDs and uh, PC games in here. Most of these are for I remember. Um, so there you go. And then I got like boots and heels in there. So it's just so nice having like, it's so nice having my clothes just organized. Oh, it's trying to focus on me in the mirror instead of me in real life. There we go. Yeah, so I really enjoy having that, having this space to organize everything. When I eventually have to move out and I don't have this anymore, I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> having a cosplay wardrobe is like the best thing in the entire world. You can tell from my channel if you've uh, seen anything before, I have a fondness for dressing up ridiculously. So cosplay wardrobe is like the best thing ever. I mean, you can see from my outfit today, like I'm wearing a flower crown. I don't know why, I just, I just felt like it went with the look, you know? Uh, yeah, so this is probably like the biggest part to show. This is my like display shelf. Um, it's taken a long while to get this like looking, uh, oh, that's my light. <laughs> That's my light. <laughs> just have a little umbrella light on at the moment. I have two, but I'm just using one for this. Um, but yeah, it's taken so long to like get this shelf vaguely looking how I want it, and I change it all the time. It changes like constantly. So, um, but yeah, the top here I have like little plushes. I've got like a clanger and moomins, and there's my club penguin ones. That's a drinking horn from Vikings. Um, and then I have little figurines. Here's all my ducks, my little ducks. Eh? Yeah, uh, that's a wig stand that I bought that is broken, hence why it does not have a wig on it at the moment. I need to get some metal ones and then I'm going to put my wigs along the top, which I thought would be cool. Um, this is kind of the, the geek shelf. I mean, they're all the geek shelf, but I've got like a little Star Trek shrine in the middle here, 
with a little bit of, I've got a little uh, R2-D2 who's actually a desk vacuum, <laughs> but uh, he's very ineffective, he just looks cute, so he's there. Um, I got my spot plush who's slipping down a little bit, he's uh, sleeping on the job that I got for Christmas. There's a little picture of me and Ellie on a, uh, a transport pad at Comic-Con. Um, I got my uh, my Yogscast uh, tankard just sort of in there. Those are my pop figures, which I showed in my pop figure video. And this is like, this is like the, the cute shelf. This is the shelf that my look today matches. Like, this is like, this is where, this is where today's emotions are. Um, so it's, it's all in pretty pastel colors. Um, I've got my collection of our Picassos. Butters, the big one was my first, like, I, I bought him especially off the internet. Um, my old housemate and a uh, very good friend Liz and I like got uh, a big one each and um, they're just fabulous um, and then I've just kind of gathered these from cons and from bags and things um, so there's more little plushies that kind of fit into the cute variety they've got there's a Molang um, got my Hello Kitty and a uh, little card capture Sakura figurines this one is like an action figure it's a nightmare to build. It's like, it's like the hardest Lego you've ever done. Um, I've got a jar of sweets because they're pastel colours and it fitted in well and it also held on these lights. I've got these like, they're like Easter lights but um, I thought they worked with this shelf and they're, they're pretty cute. It felt like a waste not to have them out. Um, that's like stationery from kawaii boxes um but they kind of look cute on this shelf and i felt like they fitted in there's a tiny pepper pig there which is uh <laughs> but you know she she belongs here got all my machine stuff here well i say all i've got some of my machine stuff here and there's Gigi from geeky's delivery service and then if we move down a shelf again this is like oh my knee uh this half is like the gaming shelf so i got all my game guides um which I just found. They're in a box in the loft. I was despairing, wondering where they were, but there they are. Um, and my Animal Crossing Amiibo collector's album as well. Got my Tepig, so there's the Pokemon stuff down here. We've got Ratchet and Clank, um, Crash, uh, Sonic and Tails. We've got the Mario and, and Luigi and Yoshi and Princess Peach. Um, the Stay Puft Man should not be here, but he's the only thing on this shelf heavy enough to keep the books upright. So he, he was over there where he fitted in better, but now he's he's there just holding the books up, so I hope you can forgive that. Uh, I've got my Yubi Funkies, um, and if you want to see a video of that, you can watch that on the other channel. So there's Modern Solus, and we've got some Legos here, we've got Back to the Future, Doc's had a little fall and, and Marty's skating away. This like whole shelf, because the carpet's so thick in here, it's really wobbly, so anytime anything even like touches it, everything just goes crazy. <laughs> And uh, there's my uh, 60s Batmobile, which is just beautiful. We're now onto the bottom shelf, so if you come and lie on the floor with me, you can enjoy this shelf, um, which is a bit random. It's almost, because you can't see it from the rest of the room, it's almost a dumping shelf. Um, but it's still, like, gamey, nerdy stuff. I've got my Scooby-Doo figurines, which are... I worked out a while ago, they are as old as the characters, because the figurines are from 2001. And the characters are all like 16 years old, so there you go, pretty cool fact. Um, I got <laughs> a zombie glow-in-the-dark zombie playset, which is from my dad. The funny thing about this is that I gave that to my dad as a gift, and then <laughs> on my 21st birthday he gave me 21 gifts, and because that's so many, um, a lot of them were just stuff from around his flat, so I'm pretty sure he gifted those back to me. <laughs> so. Maybe next time it's his birthday I'll give them back to him again and <laughs> we'll just keep passing them back and forth. Um, but they're pretty cool. Um, yeah, uh, glow in the dark zombies. I've got a few of my playing cards from my playing card collection. I really like collecting playing cards for things I love, I don't know why. Uh, so I've got Star Trek ones, I've got Mass Effect, Sailor Moon, Death Note, Sonic the Hedgehog and some Harry Potter ones. The Harry Potter ones are like a special Harry Potter game though. And not normal playing cards, uh, which is kind of cool. PG Tips Monkey, that is also from my dad, that's a Katsuma. It's from uh, the charity shop near where he lives, which is apparently the best shop in the world, and I'm inclined to agree. Um, 
Scary Luigi. I've got these bears that are like from uh, a special bear collection and if I had my way and a big house I would have the whole collection because look at them, they're gorgeous. <laughs> and then I got a little, uh, yeah, a little Jack Skellington. I got uh, Reuben the pig and a creeper. Yeah, that's the shelf. So that's definitely, like I say, the biggest part, the longest to explain, um, but it looks really cool and I'm really proud of the kind of collection and the organizing. Like I say, I change it all the time. I, I'm always changing this and moving things around. So it will probably look different like next time you see it in the back of a video. Here's something else I'm kind of proud of, weirdly, uh, which is my bookshelf. Um, it's a Billy, it's a Billy bookcase from Ikea, so that's, you know it's quality. Um, yeah, and uh, I just, it's so nice having a bookcase big enough to fit all my books and organise everything. So I've got like these big ones on the top, I've got like my horror and vampire stuff together, I've got my Studio Ghibli books together. Um, I've got my classics in the corner, they're behind my little Shakespeare. Um, books by like famous people, like biographies and extracts of their work and stuff are all together. Um, I've got like a historical fiction and history information bit. And then all the series together. And um, this is like books from films and things. So we've got like Star Wars and Star Trek, Lord of the Rings, Hobbit, uh, a little book about dinosaurs. And then here's like Harry Potter and Game of Thrones. The second Dance of Dragons is missing because that's what I'm reading at the moment. I put it down months ago and never finished it. So I'm trying to quickly finish it now. Um, yeah, and then the bottom is like a bit of a dumping ground again. Stuff that's on the lowest level I tend to use to dump because you don't see it when you're just looking around the room. Um, but this is like books from uni and historical books and stuff that's too big to fit elsewhere. And then over here, again, the top of this, I don't, I don't like it. it. Keeps, I keep changing this because I just, I don't really like how it works. I kind of like, so I've got Kermit the Frog and like, um, I've got the little Kylo Ren, I've got a mine turtle, and I've got Donald Duck, and they kind of go together. This mirror isn't usually here, incidentally. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, and a, 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 like a puzzle thing. So it doesn't kind of go together, but it's stuff that I want to display and I don't really know where else. Um, I got my Star Trek 50th anniversary poster. Again, built that a little while ago. Uh, you can see that if you want. Um, and then this so nice to get these out on display. Um, these three are on the top. It's not messy, it's because those are repeats. Those are ones that I for some reason own two of, um, so they're to get rid of, which is why they're up there. Um, so I've got um, my uh, PS2 games are all alphabetical apart from the uh, platinum ones because they look nice together. Um, and then I got my PS3 games at the front, which are also alphabetical, which is beautiful and lovely. And then the bottom is DVDs. So I've got like DVD box sets at the front and uh, all my studio, well, some of my studio Ghibli's here. And then my Harry Potters are all together there and Blu-rays slash ones with nice packaging are <laughs> over there. Such a weird collection of like my favourite things. It's probably shit in other people's opinions. I've got like Ratchet and Clank and Warcraft and Star Wars. Dead Rising obviously should be with the PS2 games because it's a because it's the steel book that came with the Zombrex, it doesn't fit and it looks silly sticking out here. Like, look at that. That looks ridiculous. Um, so it lives down here. But it's okay because I know it's there. So yeah, that's pretty nice. I just, I like sitting back and looking at this. It's just so nice to have them all out on display instead of in a box. I've got um, some tiny weights and the Wii Fit board down there. The Wii Fit just, I haven't used it in here um, because it, well, I've tried, but it, the carpet's too thick. I have to put it on two books and even then it's really dodgy. So <laughs> that's, that's why it's just kind of under there not really doing anything. Um, over here is another drawer. Again, the top of this, I don't know what this, this jewellery box, like it's, it's pretty and it has had my jewellery in it for a long time, but it doesn't go because I've got my consoles up here, which is nice. I like that. And a, a melon tea, but ignore that. But yeah, so it, it, some things like that are just kind of unfinished. I don't know if I'll ever, they might just always be kind of out on the side because I think that overall the room looks fine. So, I don't know, I've got my uh, goofy home studios clapperboard from my dad. Um, and this is just like gym clothes and um, some electricals and stuff like that. And then uh, here is my desk, which is uh, where I do everything, where I live. Um, I've got my very sad smushed Pikachu cushion because he's had my butt on him for years so he's starting to look a bit worse for wears. Um, 
So yeah, it's kind of messy, but I feel like that's kind of natural. That's kind of more how it actually is. Just got like glasses cleaners and stuff lying around. Um, I got my, look at my cute mouse mat though. It's so hard to find one with a wrist support that isn't an anime girl with huge boobs. So that was nice. I got, my monitor is just like an old TV, hence it's got like the stupid stickers on it. I've got like a childish butt vomit sticker and things like that. It's just wheel out a bit so you can see. So I usually have, for when I'm doing gaming videos with face cam, I usually have this here. I have my umbrella light here. Um, pointing down at me though, instead of in the sky. Um, and uh, I have my camera here, because there's just, there's not space for two, and it would be silly to have two lights, I don't need two lights. Um, if it's a particularly sunny day, I tend to just not bother with the light and just leave the curtains open. Um, but do you see today it's kind of grey and cloudy, so I put the light on. Yeah, so I tend to have, it's kind of a good like spot to stick my camera. Um, I've got my PlayStation down there, but it just all kind of fits in together quite nicely there. So this goes on there, hence why the um, the thing, the cork attachment bit, I forget what it's called, that's why that's there. Um, so that's that. This is, this is now kind of like my setup video. Um, I'll keep it kind of brief because probably not interested in that, but um, I've got a blue snowball, which is what I use to record my audio with a little pop filter on front. I've got an Apple TV, which I did not buy. I got that for free and uh, I've used it once. I, I just, I don't get it. Maybe if I had more plug sockets so I could just easily, you know, turn it on and go and it wasn't such a faff, maybe I would use it more. Um, I got a Starbucks cup because you get 10p off with the cup and I like Starbucks. I got, this is my little elephant of prosperity. He's supposed to bring you prosperity if he faces outwards on your desk. Um, so, I don't know, maybe he's working, maybe he's not, but, oh well. Um, drugs. Uh, <laughs> I've got my little fidget cube, which is amazing, by the way, if you're a fidgety person or an anxious person and you tend to rip away the skin on your hands or pick at your nails or whatever, this is awesome. I tend to just have in here just whatever I'm using at the time. Um, so I've got, like, my notebook that I write my uploads in. I've got the Amiibo reader and Amiibo card that I'm using at the moment in Animal Crossing. <laughs> and this is the new PC, uh, which I'm using to record and game at the moment. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of absurd because there's the old one, um, which I've cleaned up and I'm just gonna, I need to clean up like the files and stuff on it. And uh, at the moment I'm just using that for editing, which is, I know, kind of ridiculous, but it's just, uh, it's how things are at the moment and it's kind of working out quite nicely. I mean, I'll tell you more about that if you're interested, but this is already ridiculously long. Um, and that's, yeah, like I say, that's kind of a setup video rather than, I don't know, I don't know if that would interest anybody here. Um, but yeah, that is my room. I think for the purposes of entertainment, I will also quickly show you my bedroom, uh, just to contrast, because I think it's fun. Ta-da! So here's my bedroom. <laughs> this is it. Pretty great. It's tiny, but I love it. I've got my elf doll, I've got my Spider-Man bedding, and a wardrobe. And this is it. Back to the other room. So that's my room. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tour. I'd say little, it probably went on way too long, um, but there's just so much and I've just done it so it's kind of exciting and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm just happy with, I like having my stuff on display in the background, you know? I like, you know, working and then turning around and, oh, there's my nice thing. Um, whatever. <laughs> so yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see any other kinds of videos because I know a couple of people requested this and so I hope that they like it um, or at least I suggested it and people said yeah I guess. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think, um, is there anything in your home that you're very proud of and uh, yeah, anything else you'd like to see coming up. Um, I will carry on doing the casual Fridays because I think they're kind of fun, but I don't have any other videos planned, so if there's anything that you really want to see, this is a good time to ask. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe so you don't miss the next one, and I will see you next time.